Hey guys, what's up? Huckleberry is the name, and Call of Duty is the game, and welcome to another freaking awesome episode. Well, not even episode, just another clip by me. Um, I get a Moab here in this Kill Confirm game on the map Resistance. I uh, hope you guys all enjoy it, and uh, yeah, that'll just be playing in the background when I talk about either the gameplay or something else that I kind of want to talk about. So, uh, starting off with the gameplay, I'm using the MP7 um, with silencer and extended mags. Now, I recently have just started using this. Uh, usually, I've used rapid fire with it, and I found while that's very like it's very good to use on like smaller maps that you'll want to use a silencer on this uh, extended mags is really good for using or for being on uh, bigger maps sort of like resistance but it still has those small uh, corners and I feel like the mp7 can get the job done so I get uh, I, I get the specialist bonus right here and I end up dying now this is like a full gameplay of the map so I'm just gonna speed up a few parts where it's a little slow or I don't get like a big kill streak but I just thought since I uh, since I got the specialist bonus I thought I'd let you guys see that a little bit first but I'll just speed it up right here because I only get about six kills and then I end up dying maybe maybe seven I don't know but um yeah so I hope you guys are all having a great week uh, I know I'm it's kind of been slow for me and I've been really tired lately but I've been trying to get out videos that where I've been enthusiastic and all that stuff which everyone likes to see so um yeah, and again, on this map, uh, the team that I'm playing against is, like, not campy, but my team seems to be campy. Uh, I end up going, I think, 60, 60 plus kills this game, and we still end up losing. Now, I um, did the math, well, as to my greatest ability anyways, and... I figured out that like I picked up 1500 points worth of tags now I got 3,000 points from kills because I got 60 kills but 60 plus kills but I ended up getting 1500 uh, points from just tags now that's quite a bit if you think about it and the rest of my team I don't even know what they're doing I don't even think anyone on my team really got that many kills except for myself but I don't really want to rag on the team just because it's my team and I don't really want to say anything bad about him because we still ended up doing well and we ended up winning in the in the end of it but look at this guy right here just aimed at, aiming down his sights with the uh, the type 95 thermal and just laying down now I thought my whole team was in there so I thought okay let's go in there and we'll be good but no apparently there's just a guy laying down and no one can see him but whatever again not trying to rag on my team but sometimes in pubs especially ground war there are those kids that are just like what are you doing there um and uh, another thing that I kind of want to talk about is the fact that I've been really wanting to play Call of Duty 4. Now, if you guys have not played Call of Duty 4 in a while, you should try it because I've been watching some gameplay of Call of Duty 4 and I've just been like, wow, this game's actually sweet. Well, it still has Last Stand and it still has Juggernaut and all that stuff, but I, I don't know. Like, I just saw some guy using the AK-47 and I'm like... Wait, that is actually 10 times better than the one in this game. I really want to go play that right now. So, probably going to go do that actually right after I'm done making this commentary. And I hope you guys um, will like that. Maybe if I get a good gameplay, I could post that on my channel. Uh, let me know what you guys think in this description or whatnot. And, yeah, sorry, I'm speeding this up right here. This is my Moab run. But there's this pesty little, uh, this little, what's it called? Hello. Sentry gun. Hello. Um, And I was just having to camp there because I can't I can't really move because I didn't have blind eye at the time and uh, I just kind of couldn't really move around so I was kind of camping I was like ah it's kind of boring so let's just speed it up real quick and yeah I go on my Moab run right here and pretty soon I'm coming up to the spot where I, I wouldn't really call it camping excuse me pardon my um, little slur right there of words but I wouldn't really call it camping but the people that I was killing just kept flooding to the spot now you I'm coming up to it right here and it's right behind this uh, brick wall and look at that guy his leg was sticking out of the wall but um it, yeah it's right on this brick wall now it's a terrible head glitch and I realize that but there are so many points that I could get killed from it's really not like a prestigious spot really to be camping but I find that like if you just constantly check left and right and up top it, you can just get a bunch of kills like look at that they're all just spawning right there while well, my accuracy is horrendous so I can't get hardly as many kills as I think I should have got uh, gotten but I just kind of camp around here a little bit and uh, get this guy with the AS50 and I yeah I end up getting my Moab right here and it's pretty awesome because the my team actually does a pretty good job at keeping the spawn in that back area no, uh, in ground war, uh, look at this little clat right there. Boom. Yeah, collateral. Um, but yeah, I, I, 
adore my team for doing that, or not adore, but I amend, commend, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But I think that my team did a great job at not flipping the spawns, because that's a real problem in Modern Warfare 3. Have you guys noticed that? That, like, in Black Ops, if you had the C flag in a domination game, you stayed on the C flag. In this game, if you are an inch away from the A flag, they're like, oh no, he's going for the C flag, we better switch the spawns. But, uh, yeah, sorry for that kind of not suspenseful Moab part right there. Didn't really tell you guys what was going on, but yeah, got my Moab. I end up getting like a thousand points for um, the Moab, and I thought that was pretty cool because I don't usually get that. I usually only get like, I don't know, 600. Well, I don't even know how many people I killed. I must have killed a lot, but um, yeah, multi-kill going in the montage, actually. No, not really, but I want to let you guys know that I think if I get an a uh, HD PVR, probably like a Hopage or Hopog, I don't even know how you say it. There are so many ways, but I think if I get one, uh, I believe I'm going to make a BS montage. Now, you might have seen in my last clip that I did, um, that I put out, uh, there was a 270 degree knife kill, and it was just hilariously annoying, because you can knife and spin the, like, at a speed of, I don't even know what, a gazelle, and you're just going... You can just kill people like that, and it's just full of BS, this game, but I still love it, and I think it'd be hilarious if I made a BS montage just because people would totally be able to relate, and I think that people would really enjoy because I have never seen one. I've seen Ninja Diffuse montages. I've seen Sniper montages, obviously. I've seen regular montages, but I've never actually seen a BS montage because usually in the past Call of Duties, that doesn't really happen all that much. And see, uh, if you can notice the score right now, it's only 70 to 71. That's not very many... Um, dog tags that have been picked up but the 10 minutes is already up for the kill confirm game i think that's a little weird that the people kind of just ran around and didn't really go for the tags like i know that i didn't but that's just because i was going for a moab i was on a streak but as you can see in this final kill cam this guy's total oh, you can't even see the final kill cam um that's all i got for you guys today huckleberry is out peace sorry about that